is part two, you all. As I was saying in part one, in order for you to move on, you have to unpack everything. You have to unpack the bad behavior, the negative behavior, the uh, negative thinking, all of it. And I want y'all to know that the distractions is not going to go away. Remember, the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So no matter what we do, we just have to continue to move forward. We have to continue to keep our relationship with God, continue to build it more and more each and every day. You have to do this. There is no other way. There's no other way. It does not matter how bad and how far you have become. The enemy is still going to try to uh, distract you. He is going to be doing this until Jesus Christ returns you all. He's going to continue to do this. But in order for us to make our lives better, we have to make sure that we are unpacking everything that have went on in our lives. And I want you all to know that because people is going to try you every day. They is going to try you every day. And sometimes it's just best for you to just stay silent and continue to unpack it. Just stay silent. Don't say anything because remember, as I was saying and pray for your enemies, God is going to get revenge on whatever. And whoever, you don't have to re get revenge on nobody. Remember, God says vengeance is here. So all we have to do is make our lives better by unpacking the bad and negativity that has went on in our lives. We have to unpack that toxic behavior. We have to unpack that toxic marriage, that toxic divorce, that toxic relationship, that toxic friendship. No matter what we have, we have done. We have to make sure we are unpacking everything. That is the only way. So I want y'all to remember this. Just do it day by day. Like I am doing. I am going to continue to do. Unpack it all by taking it day by day. Unpack it. Blessings to you all.